If you want to know what surrender looks like, look at the story of Gideon. Gideon was leading an army of 22,000 men, but God looked at his army and said, you guys don't need that. Make it 300 and watch what I can do. 300 men versus the Midianite army, which by the way, scripture said that that army seemed as vast as sand on a seashore. But here's my favorite part of the story. They didn't launch an all-out assault on the camp at first, but what they did is they blew their trumpets and they screamed and shouted the sword of the Lord. And the enemy camp being confused and disoriented started fighting each other and eventually Gideon and his men won. Now in this time, depending on how a trumpet was played, it could mean advancement or surrender, but I love that in this story it represented both. Gideon was advancing in his victory, but it was a victory that came from Gideon surrendering to God who was fighting for him. I wonder how many times in our lives we're trying to fight the battles our way when really we should be surrendering to God, his will, and what he would have for us.